Hi, this is Deborah with LegalOfficeGuru.com, and I'm going to talk to you today about hanging indents, what they are and what they're useful for. Now, in this first example, you see this is a hanging indent. Basically, it is an indent in which the first part of the paragraph is flush with the left margin, and the second and subsequent lines are indented somewhat. You've probably seen this particular style of indentation used in certain academic styles, in certain styles of citations, but you can also use it in other instances. For example, I've got about three examples below here that show you what sorts of uh, instances you can use this in. The first example is a deposition summary where we've got the pages listed on the left hand side and then the summary of testimony listed to the right of it. And I want to turn on show hide here on the home tab and just show you how this is constructed. You notice in each of these cases there's a tab right in the middle of the first line that separates what's hanging out on the left margin versus what's indented from in the rest of the paragraph. So I've got pages and then a tab and then summary of testimony. And so the second and subsequent lines of each of those entries is actually indenting itself as part of the hanging indent. So you wouldn't need to necessarily set up a table in order to set up this sort of structure. Because the next thing that I could do here is go down here and say pages 4 through 5 and then just start typing some text and you see it indents itself. The second instance is something that's a little bit more common, a ray line in a letter. Once again, I've got ray sitting out on the left hand margin and then a tab and then the two lines that actually come after the ray are going to indent themselves. And then the third example is a citation of deposition testimony where I've got the Q and the A hanging out at the left hand margin and then the question and the answer themselves actually indented from the left next to the Q and A. Now to set these up, you can do one of two things. You can either use the shortcut key Control T and that will actually use the default measure for doing a hang indent. It basically is going to use the first tab stop in order to control the indent. Or you can go up here on the home tab to the little launcher arrow in the lower right hand corner of paragraph settings. And this is the setting here that you want. It's hanging under special and then set however much space you want there. And I'll show you these others. Let's see, I believe that one is a little bit more space here. Yes, I set that up hanging down at 0.75, so I'd have a little bit more room there. And you notice you have in the preview pane, you have a preview of what that's going to look like. So as you change these settings, it'll actually show you how that's changing. Now the one thing I want to caution you to never do, and I see people do this all the time, and it's helpful that I have show hide turned on here because this is what I see in some documents. Please do not do this. I see people actually type the number, hit the tab key, type the text, and since they don't know how to do a hang indent, they just hit the hard return here and then type a tab and then start the second line and do that over and over and over again. And their reasoning is, hey, it looks the same. Why would I, why would I necessarily want to go to the trouble of learning how to do a hang indent? That's why. Because you cannot edit this. You have to go in and remove all those tabs and hard indents, or those hard returns rather, and just clean all this up. So. You want to do some of these types of formatting, then learn how to do the hang indent. You can either, as I said, do control T, which unless there's a plugin or something that's overwritten, that particular shortcut key will actually do the default hang indent or on the home tab, click on the little launcher arrow in the lower right hand corner of paragraph and choose hanging and then set up how much space needs to go between the left-hand margin and the second and subsequent lines. 
This has been Deborah with LegalOfficeGuru.com. Thanks for watching.